Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're going to be talking about printing and the two different types of printers, laser and inkjet. There's a certain magic to printing. You see something on the screen, you press a few buttons and bang, you're holding it on a physical piece of paper. That's kind of surreal in some ways and rather special, but it's also one of the most hated things by computer technicians. It's hard. Paper is difficult. There is all sorts of different quality and cut and weight and that sort of thing and it's got to go through a complex path through a printer and it jams and it tears and it's just painful. It can also be messy. Liquid inks, not fun. Colours, dye that just stays and stays. Toner, a fine colour or black powder that goes absolutely everywhere and is not fun to breathe or get on your clothes or whatever. It can be a nightmare. But, like I said, also kind of magical. So we live with it. The paperless office is not here yet, so printing is here to stay. Let's learn how it works. There's two main types of printers. Inkjet, which uses a tiny little cartridge like this, full of a liquid ink, or laser printers, which use a toner cartridge that's much bigger like this. This will often give you five to 10,000 pages, whereas this will give you pages numbering in the hundreds. Inkjet printers are generally cheap and used in homes and in some other special circumstances, mainly photography. They use these little ink tanks, which hold like 10, 20 mil of ink and cost sometimes up to 30, 40, 50 dollars. And then you've got to buy them in multiples because you want black, cyan, magenta, yellow for a colour printer. The printers themselves are frequently sold really cheaply and the manufacturer makes it up by selling you the inks. But I'll save the economics for a different video. Inkjets do great colour and with the benefit of specialty papers like these, beautiful photos. It works by spraying patterns of tiny, tiny little droplets of coloured ink onto the page. This is why these printers can be much slower and often take a little time to dry once they're done. Let's have a quick look at an inkjet printer. This is my trusty old inkjet. Doesn't get a lot of use these days because I just don't print that many photos and realistically that's all I'd want from an inkjet. You can tell it's an inkjet A because it's fairly compact. Also, it's the, an IP5200, the I being inkjet. When you open the lid, it will eventually pop out the ink cartridges so that you can see them. And you can see this one is full of black ink. That's actually just a sponge, which does contain some ink, but not much. That's the actual reservoir there. You can possibly see it a little better in the yellow because you can actually see through it and that that's a mostly full ink tank. And sometimes they want to go back in and sometimes they don't. And that is actually an empty blank black ink cartridge. So it's small, neat, compact. That's the inkjet printer. This one even has a special slot on the front. where you can slide a special tray in and print your own CDs and DVDs. It does require special inkjet printable discs, which you can probably still buy. Nobody uses them anymore, but it was a great feature of this printer at the time. Laser printers are all about speed and are used by businesses large and small. The printers themselves tend to cost more, but they're built better and designed to last longer. The toner is also more stable, lasts longer, and you get more prints out of it. Many laser printers are black and white because that's all most people need and it's cheap and easy and easy to read. Laser printers work by shining lasers onto a drum which then attracts the tiny particles of toner which are then transferred to the paper and melted on in the final stage. This is why the paper comes out of a laser printer hot. Colour lasers are generally almost like four printers in one, overlaying cyan, magenta, yellow, and then black onto the same page in consecutive passes. Photocopiers are really just laser printers, and in many organizations, the color laser printer has actually been replaced by a photocopier because it can do both. And now we'll have a look at a laser printer. 
This is one of several laser printers that I have kicking around the place. Larger, more robust. As you can see, this one's pretty dirty. It's actually lived in a workshop for a mechanic. So it's pretty grubby and been fairly well abused, but still works perfectly. The toner is accessed by lifting the top, sliding the lever, and that is your toner cartridge. Full of a very, very fine black powder, kind of like a talcum powder, but black. Glides through your hands and gets all over your clothes and makes a huge mess. Side note, if you ever get any on your clothes, wash them in cold water because the hot water activates them and makes them stick. So this is a black and white laser printer. This is a complete photo of my color laser printer. You'll recognize it because it sits here in every one of my videos. It's a giant behemoth, so it doesn't go anywhere. So which is best? It depends. For beautiful photos, you want an inkjet. For speed, you want a laser printer. Cost and balancing the costs is another question altogether, and we'll follow that up in another video next week, linked up here. I hope that was helpful. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. You can subscribe to our videos by clicking here, or there's some older episodes that you may not have seen before, here and here. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.